Hi there, I'm Dee from Dee's Bees and today is the third of five videos that we're doing this week on helping you to make your own beeswax wraps using our beeswax blend. Now um, today we're going to cover the oven method. Yesterday we did the iron method, so but a surprising number of people haven't got an iron these days. But usually there's an iron, uh, an oven somewhere in the house, so this is a really easy way to do it without having to buy any special tools. Just a few household bits and pieces that you've probably already got. Um, very important note, I'm sorry I forgot to mention this yesterday. Before you apply any heat to your beeswax blend, please make sure that you close up all of your outside doors and windows. You may think that you don't have any bees in your neighbourhood, I'm willing to bet that you're wrong and when they smell this stuff being heated up the aroma will spread and they will come to see what's going on they absolutely love it so you don't want that sort of company while you're trying to do this um, right tools the obvious one trusty oven now it's just set to bake 100 degrees celsius you don't need to go any hotter than that uh, beeswax melts around 62 degrees Celsius, so you've actually got plenty of heat there. We're keeping the temperature down for two reasons. The first one obviously is safety. The cooler it is, the less risk there is. Uh, the second is that if you're using fabrics that have any tendency for the colours to bleed, the lower you keep the temperature, the less bleeding you'll get. If you can keep it under 100 degrees, you'll do quite well, but the more you push over 100, they will, the colours will just tend to go and they'll want to go right outside the boundaries. So keep that temperature down and you'll get a nicer finish on your wraps. Uh, tools. Okay, I'm just going to turn the camera down a bit so you can see what we're dealing with. So excuse me for a moment. Let me get this lined up. There we go. Hopefully that'll do the job. All right, so oven already on and heating up by the way and you know 100 degrees I can lean on this pretty safely it's not uh, it's not a problem you're going to need an oven tray to put your wraps on please choose one with a rim we don't want to use a flat baking sheet and have the risk that when you put it in the oven the wax is going to go off the edge and suddenly you've got an oven to clean and uh, yeah let's not go there so our tray is going to be lined, because I'm allergic to housework, so we do as little as possible. And this just helps prevent the clean up. We're going to line it with some wax baking paper. You know, the blend is a lot easier to clean off than if it was 100% beeswax, but it's still not a lot of fun, so let's just knock that down. This is also a good way, by the way, of making sure that you make the most of your beeswax blend, because it keeps it contained and you can reuse this paper time and time again. You don't need to replace it each time. Um, so it's a good way to actually conserve it. Now, because we're dealing with a hot oven, I'm going to have a tea towel handy and I've got some tongs handy just to help me get the tray and the wrap in and out of the oven without burning myself. Uh, fabric, of course. We made some... Um, are we. We talked about choosing your fabric and getting it ready, which is really just as simple as choosing a pure cotton fabric, washing it when you get it home from the shop, cutting it to whatever size is going to work for you. Uh, very easy. Now, if you have, we've covered this, but we'll go back so you don't have to go hunting through videos. If you have pinking shears, which will give you a nice zigzag edge on your fabric, use them, great. If you don't have pinking shears, ordinary straight cut scissors will work just as well for this because the wax blend is actually going to lock that edge together somewhat too to prevent fraying. You'll be fine. So we've got our fabric, it's cut to size. Now this happens to fit nicely in the tray. If you're doing a bigger size wrap, all you've got to do is just loosely fold it into the tray. And you may just have to move it around a little bit during the heating process, but it'll work just as well. You can make as big a wrap as you like or as small a wrap as you like. You can make multiple wraps at once. You can layer them up. In this case, I would put some wrap blend 
on the um, first fabric, a little bit more on the second, layer it up, a little bit on the top. And the only trick to this is that you really do want to know that those colours are not going to bleed into each other because you can get a disappointing result. So if you're not familiar with your fabrics or with the technique, probably a good idea to just do one at a time for a start, and that's what we're going to do here. Uh, but look, very doable to stack them up and make them quite quickly. Especially if you're doing all the same fabric, that works brilliantly. But today, I think we're going to go with some dragonflies. It's a beautiful, bright little fabric. Um, batik pattern. A little bit of fabric off cut there. Now, one question that I get quite often is parents who are like, oh, they look great, but I'm so worried that the kids won't bring them home from school. Here's your insurance policy. If you put your name on the fabric before you wax it, the wax will then lock that in and bingo. But look, realistically, I've actually I've had pe people worried that they won't come home from school. I've not yet had anyone who they haven't come home from school with. The kids like these. They don't seem to associate them with the disposable plastics. They treat it more like their lunchbox or something, and they actually do come home. The kids get quite attached to them. So we're ready to go. The oven's heated, tray's ready, nicely lined, fabric's ready, got it named up. All we need to do now and find my handy dandies. Did we speak about cutting the wax? We did not today. Now, we spoke yesterday about this guy. It's the first thing that people reach for when they think about doing this job. Don't do it. If you use this, you've got to clean this and that ain't no fun. And the risk of your knuckles getting grated not worth the hassle. Leave this one out of it. The simplest tool is the good old veggie peeler. Right? And one that I do quite like as an alternative is a cheese slicer. This one's just a little bit easier, I think, sometimes for small kids to handle because they've just got to pull it down the block. They don't have to worry with the veggie slicer about getting the, the angle of the blade right and so on. But I like this guy. And I just peel straight onto the fabric. And you just spread it around. Now, because I don't want to keep you here longer than we have to, I've got some I've pre-prepared earlier. And it is just a case of dotting this around the fabric. Now, especially when I'm doing the oven method, I want to get it quite close to the edges because they seem to be the bits that will be a bit dry, if anything. So... It's just dotting it around the place. You don't want to drop big lumps anywhere because that's all got to melt and um, spread out a long way through the fabric. So the more you spread it out in smaller pieces, the better it will spread through the fabric. Then infuse. That's probably about right. Might even be a touch too much, but that's fine. That's very easy to solve. If I have put too much on here and when I go to take it out, ooh, a little bit too much wax, slap another piece of fabric on, back in the oven for a moment. The new fabric will wick up the extra wax, whip it out, take my finished one off, and my uh, the, the fabric that's wicked up the extra goes back on there, gets some more wax put on it, bang, second wrap done. So, let's see if I can get this in and out of the oven without... Um, too much chaos. Now, because I've planned ahead, here's one I've prepared earlier. And, uh, just pop that puppy in. So this has been in just while we've been talking. And it's actually been in a little bit too long, which is why the, um, the names bled just a little bit. But realistically, I don't care. It still looks great. Um, tongs, just because it's quite hot, but it cools down very quickly, so lift it up off the tray straight away. 
don't leave it sitting there it will stick to the paper if you leave it to cool down in the tray not a problem if it happens again slap your tray back in the oven for a moment pull it out and lift it off quickly now this one you know what it actually looks pretty good I think I've got it just about everywhere maybe this corner here is a little bit dry maybe that could use just a little bit extra so I can um, it, there's a little bit of extra wax in the bottom of the tray I could just fold this up a little bit differently and pop that back in for two minutes and that will take care of it if I really feel there's not enough wax to do the job obviously I just slap on another shaving and back into the oven but really that's actually gone quite well now you can see because I've put that down it started to um, clump just a little bit there but where I lifted it straight off the finish is nice and smooth and that's what you're going to get so all you do straight out of the oven lift it up give it a little bit of a waft for a moment just to let that wax set it only takes a few seconds and you're done and there is your oven made personalized beeswax wrap great job now what have we not talked about oh uh, we covered it yesterday but again people um, sometimes aren't thrilled with the peeling the wax process and they want to melt it down in a pot beforehand go for it works brilliantly all you need to do is melt it down very gentle heat uh, in an old saucepan preferably one you're not going to have to use again because you know cleaning yeah uh, and just one of those cheapy kids natural fiber paint brushes will um, do the job great to get it onto the fabric but then you still need to get your fabric into the oven because the wax is going to be cooling as you paint it on so when you brush it on you're getting it onto the fabric put it in the oven you're getting it into the fabric that's the difference so very easy to do that uh, we mentioned you can stack them up you can make multiple wraps at a time very easily if you're making a bigger wrap all you've got to do just fold it loosely and just reposition it once or twice pop it back in the oven until everything is nice and evenly covered and again when you bring it out straight off the paper and just let it cool for a moment so what's left to do I guess here's the uh, the cleaning parts about all we've got left to do and realistically there's not much look it's a dodgy old roasting dish anyway but actually there's not a drop of wax on that that can go straight back in the drawer no cleaning I've got some wax left on the bottom of my paper and I don't want to waste that because it's good stuff so you know what I'm going to do I'm going to wrap up the remains of my block and if I put that away that paper can be reused again next time no wax is wasted we're golden on that level uh, what's left to wash the veggie peeler take off any solid wax that you can just tease it off hot water dishwashing liquid bit of a scrub comes up beautifully and same with the tongs do you know that's just about it the only thing left is probably I've got a little bit a tiny bit of sticky on my fingers um, and Michelle threw me a great reminder yesterday thank you Michelle oil a little bit any sort of oil really not motor oil cooking oil olive oil baby oil any oil that you've got if you just rub that between your fingers it's going to loosen up that wax nicely and then you can just wash it off with a bit of soap and water uh, do you know I think we've covered it all shall we have a quick look and see how our other ones going just so you know I'm not telling techers and it really is that quick and easy here's our first one very nearly done all it needs a little bit of a move around get that wax distributed and that's golden so thanks for watching have fun with that and uh, if you give it a go please come back to our Facebook page and tell us how you get on we'd love to see your results thanks have fun